great. Problem 11, we have a team of psychologists that study the effect of multitasking on the completion of cognitive tasks. And a group of 40 women participated in the study. Each woman owned a smartphone equipped with the same type of keyboard. And the women typed a text, mess text passage on the phone twice, one time while sitting in a quiet room, a single task, and the other time while walking, a multitask. The order of the single task and the multitask was randomly determined for each woman. The psychologist recorded the time it took each woman to type the text for both tasks. If the conditions of inference are met, which of the following tests are, is most appropriate to analyze the data? Okay, so you can see that each um, woman basically um, had two treatments. They, you know, they did that single task here, and then they did a multitask. So this is an example of a matched pairs, matched pairs test because um, each woman acted as their own pair. So, because they're, so their data is gonna be compared to themselves. And since we're looking at, let's, we're looking at the, um, the time it took, the length of time. So it's gonna be mean, we're gonna, look, we're gonna be basically looking at a matched pairs t-test for the mean difference between you know how long they would take from you know from a uh, from typing when they did a single task versus a multitask so then this will be uh this will be b the answer will be b a match pairs that's the only one that says match pairs like 12 the random variable x is normally distributed with mean five and standard deviation 25 the random variable y is defined by y equals two plus four x what are the mean and standard deviation of y okay so this is an example of random variable well duh. <laughs> and the, the, what you have to know is that when um we have we have a linear transformation of x so when we want so we have we're told that the mean of x is five and the standard deviation of x is 25 and the y is two plus four x so the mean of y is gonna be equal to two plus four times the mean of x. Measures of center, when you're, when you're transforming a measure of center, you have to um, multiply and add. So multiply by the, by the scalar and add the constant. So you know you have a form of something like this, y equals a plus bx. Maybe you've seen something like this in your book. So then we just, this would, this would just be two plus four times five, so two plus 20. So 22 would be the mean of y. Now, when you have a standard deviation, all you have to do is multiply, multiply by the scalar b. So standard deviation of x is 25, so the standard deviation of y will be four times the standard deviation of x, or four times 25, which is gonna be just 100. And the answer will be D. For 13, we have this data. We got um, the, the recorded ages and months of 55 bears, and whether they were male or female, and we have a back-to-back -back stem plot. So um, these, this would, since this, we have the key here, seven slash zero represents 70 months. So we so the females go from 20 months all the way to 154, and the males go from 15 to just 70. And if you count the females, I think there's 29. Yeah, there's 29. The number of female would be 29. The number of males would be 26. So it looks like we're looking at, we're gonna, we wanna compare the ranges and means, or ranges and medians. So remember, the median of a distribution is the middle value, the middle ranking value, not 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 the uh, not the like arithmetic average. It's the middle value. So there's 29 values in the female distribution. So the middle of 29. So if there's like 29 people in the race, the 15th place would be like the middle because they're in, they have 14 people ahead of them, 14 people behind them. So going in order, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 14, 14, 15. So the median for the females would be 42. 
Now the median for the males, the middle of the 26, since it's even, it would basically be the, the average of the 13th and 14th value. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So somewhere in here, so between 25 and 26, so the median would be 25.6 or 25.5. So the median age is greater for the females. And the range is also greater. The range, remember the range for this would just be all the way from 20 to 154. 20 to 154 is 134, it's way bigger. The range here is 15 to 70, which is just 55. So both of them are bigger for the females. And I think that would just be straight up A. Yeah, so the first answer would be correct. And 14, the producer ships boxes of, of produce to individual customers. Uh, the distribution of weights of ship boxes is normally is about normal with mean 36 and standard deviation four. Which expression represents the weight in pounds the 75th percentile of the distribution? Okay, so the 75th percentile of this distribution would be basically the value where there's point. 25 to the right or 0.75 area to the left. So it looks like we're using standardized scores in this. So the, this, the median, the mean or the middle of this would be 36. Now, how many standard deviations away would be this? Well, we have to look at the Z score. If we want to find the Z score, or the Z value where there's 25% of the area to the right. And for this, you can actually use your calculator. If you use the function, if you go to distribution, inverse norm, all you have to do is type the area to the left, which is 0.75. And this will give you that the Z star is 0.64. Because this is, this is representing the, Z, the um, the Z star values in a standardized normal curve. In other words, where the, the mean is zero and the standard deviation is one. So this, this is 0.67 standard deviations on, of, a he, greater than 36. So to find this, you would just take 36 plus 0.67 times four. It's 0.67 standard deviations greater. So let's see what we got. The answer looks like it would be D. All right.